Lava. Of course it bloody is. Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddy Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes. It's us. Uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament. I'll be very discreet. I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Can't say I'm soft. <laughs>
One of my favorite disguises is a very ancient old lady, modeled after my mother. You'd be surprised how convincing I am. A tough old bird she was. Actually had a facial hair problem. We'd sell the hair for dolls. This ain't good. Huh? Bleed neck! Let me know if I'm speaking too much. I am prone to flights of fancy. Clava. Come in. Ah, Minister. Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like je Good God! Who the bloody hell? Oh, shut up. should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick.
Oh, yeah. <laughs> 